What's up everybody? Today we are going to install a Bluetooth uh, pod on Blake's bike. It is by Hogtunes. We're updating his bike into the 21st century without getting rid of the factory radio. Um, it'll have uh, Bluetooth. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of plugging in our phones or whatever you use for listening to music or whatever going down the road, you know, on those backcountry roads, you don't get radio signals. So um, now we'll have Bluetooth and eliminate a cord. Yes. So, and you also have, you should have controls to be able to switch between songs and pause or play or everything. And it's going to eliminate your air temperature gauge, which is pointless anyways, because you're outside, you know what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's get to it. All right. This, so this is what you get in a box. You get, you get your instructions. Canada and America. It's packaged quite well. And then you get the new Hulk Tunes uh, thing. And these are buttons. So for you guys on street glides, uh, quite easy for you to touch us on road glides. Not so easy. Just so you know, this uh, bezel uh, actually matches on the bike. Show them on the Let's, bike. Yeah. Yeah, on Blake's bike, it matches exactly. Now, this is the one we're going to get rid of, his air temp. So, that'll be going away. Uh, and then let me let me uh, refresh everybody's memory on how to remove Blake's fairing. If, also, if you really want to see us do it, you can check out any of our other videos. Well, not all of them, but some of them I, we show you how to take it off. Yeah, how to actually take it off. But... Uh, so three T25s there, and then you get a T25 here, and then there's a T25 stuck down in here, and then on the other side, exact same spots on the other side. Um, and then something we always preach, and I will get here in a minute, put a towel over your front fender because Harley paint is not cheap. And you know what? I kind of laughed because we preach this in all our videos and I pull out their instruction manual to see if they say anything and they preach the same thing. So you they, never know. I guess they're watching our videos. Yeah, they've been watching us. Yeah. And this is the first hog tunes thing we've ever installed. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we, we've obviously done, you know, stereo work in here. So, we're not 100% sure which are my zip ties and which are Harley's zip ties, but that's okay. Zip ties are your best friend. So, your air temp gauge is this one right here, which I know it's kind of hard for the camera to focus on, but that's the gauge we're going to replace. So, what you need to do is we need to get this, this wiring harness right here out of our way so we can get an extension and a socket on that plug. We'll have to... Move this plug, which is a, uh, I wanted to say stereo, but I don't think so. But anyways, we're going to move these plugs and probably zip tie them to something else so they're out of our way. And then we will be back. Okay, so we removed the two nuts off the back of the gauge, if you can tell there. That loosened it up, and we're going to have to get those plugs off, which... When we pull the gauge out, see if you can get the gauge out, Adam. Okay. Should be able to do it. Yeah, so it pulled the gauge out there. Let me straighten your handlebars. Sure can. I guess my ram mount's in the way. Steady. Okay. See if you can get those unplugged. Uh, I can, but I need a. I need a little bit more room again. Okay. Now hold on. I'm just I'm hanging up on this. Come on. I see why it's hanging up because there's no space in between the two. Yeah, there's no whole lot of working room in here. I will make I will make a little bit more room. Okay. There we go. So you got your bulb and. Uh, 
the power for it. The light bulb will. Well, leave it in there. Yeah. <laughs> give give me a minute. Okay. Well, let's squishy. go ahead and go to the back side. All right. The the piece right here that's back here. You can see the edge of it and the hole. This piece. Just slide that over. So it's kind of out of your way, and then you're able to get access to the plugs you need to get to. Okay, and then that piece on the back of the factory gauge, go ahead and work it, work it out. It'll it'll come out through there. Or actually, it'll probably come out right there. You know, we don't need you don't you will not need that piece. So you put it back on. Blake's reading a little bit of instructions. Uh, we wish Audible would do a instruction so we can just have somebody read it for us. Yeah. <laughs> I've never messed with this, so we're actually reading the instructions. Make it easy for you guys. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Go. Go. <laughs> I was going to hope you were going to hold the phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. You got your funky black wire. Well, your funky plug, this one, black and black, boom. Then what do we do, Blake? Then you're going to take the the orange cord, and he's just doing this to show you right now, but you have to insert all this through the fairing. Yes. And then plug it in. But, uh, no. No? No. <laughs> Unplug the cigarette liner. Which one? Power? Um, I'm going to go with power, sure. Yes, I'm going to go with power. All right, so now, Adam, hmm. what are you doing? I, I wanted to see what was underneath this. Oh, it's another jack. Okay. Yeah, it's if you had another auxiliary of some sort. Oh, maybe GPS or something. Yeah, something like that. Okay, don't need that. Plug it back in. All right. Ready? All right. Go ahead and feed all that through. Why am I doing it? I don't know. I got the camera. Which one do you want to do? Oh. Doesn't matter to me. Just do work, son. Right. Uh, we we screwed up already. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. I told you. I forgot to take the bolt. I forgot to take the nut off the back. Yeah. Hang on. Don't forget to take your nut and both those washers off when you get it like we did. Two washers. Rubber, plastic. Yeah. It goes on in that exact same order. Plastic, then rubber, then nut. So, you'll feed all that through. And then put that stuff back on on the other side. And we'll have to figure out how to get in there and tighten it down. Okay, let me show you guys. Okay, there's the back side of it. Let me see if I can show you right here. Yeah, see? Okay, you see it down in there? But yeah, so it's going to go in and it's going to sit against the fairing. And then you're going to have your, your like aluminum black washer and then your rubber washer and then the, the nut. And then, like, there it is mounted on the bike. So, yeah, that outside bezel matches the uh, rest of them. Uh-oh, here. We'll be back when that's done. All right, so this plug went to the back of the gauge, but you won't need it no more. So, we're going to put this one, the, the, the negative with the negative, on the negative side. And then we are going to take this to the hot side of your cigarette lighter and we're going to plug this little jumper in here and then we're going to plug this piece in here Ugh. like so and then we're going to zip tie everything up nice and pretty nice and pretty and then for the auxiliary cord he's running it I'm, i ran it there's a there's a bracket right here if you see where my finger's at there's a bracket here, and I, I ran it just on the back side of that over the top of the triple tree with the 
with your uh, other lines. And then it's going to come over here, and it's going to come out here, and then... I'm going to pull this screw out here. You don't need to remove anything up here. Just this, that screw right there. And then that'll just give us a little bit to pull that cord out. I'm going to pull it out here and just kind of run it up because it's got to plug into your auxiliary port there. So it's just going to give us just this much room like this. And I'm gonna, we're going to bring this up here and it's going to sit in this. Well, I'm, I'm going I'm to oh, bring it out on top of the handlebar. Um, and then it'll just kind of rest up here and plug in right there. Okay, as you see, I uh, got the cable to come out, just running here, plugs in, like so. And uh, there's a lot of wires, so do the best you can, just tidy it up just a little bit. And um, since that's all done, put your fairing and windshield and everything back on. And then let me turn this flash off real quick. All right. Turn my ignition on here. Get your lights for everything. The flashing right there saying it's ready to pair. Um, Adam, go ahead and pair your phone to it. I should say BTSA. Yeah, right here. Hog Tunes. BTS. And we'll have to go through the instructions to on, on pair it from mine and repair it to Belegs. And I am connected. There we go. Connected. Just give us a brief uh, little bit of some, some music here. Let's see, did I turn that on? Here we go. We we want wasn't hold on. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, you got a good auxiliary. Go ahead and do that. Let's see. Over here, auxiliary is now going to be Bluetooth. Let's just I don't know if I have any volume on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Boom. Let's see if I can control it through your phone. Yep. Yep. I paused it. Oh, okay. Hey. Well, let me hit play and see if it does oh. it. Yep. Full control over his phone right there. So, I mean, the RAM mount. Mine sits right there, so I can control it through the phone or, well, cruising at night, you don't want to light up your phone, you got controls there. So, yeah, that's it. So, we'll throw this fairing together and that's how you do it. Nice little feature. Alright, hopefully that video helped you out. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. I'll try and find a link for the uh, Hogtoons uh, Bluetooth unit that we got and uh, put that in the description below. So, other than that, what else we got? Oh, if you don't have a 2014, if, it, if you got a 13 and down, this is your Bluetooth option. Other than getting rid of your factory radio and going to an aftermarket radio, but some people like Blake and myself like the weather band when you're way out of town. Yeah. Uh, other than that, no. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also, click that uh, bell. That'll notify you anytime our uh, videos happen. So, alright, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.